Let me just quickly tell you the list of important chapters that helped me score 47 which is near about 50 marks in J Advanced Physics. So the chapters are Modern Physics, Units and Dimensions, Electrostatics, Kinematics, Current Electricity, Magnetic Effects of Electric Current, SHM, Waves and th Thermodynamics. Now I know that you have this question in mind which is Nikhil why do I have to study so many topics to score just 50 marks because the exam you're writing is J advanced. Now let's say that you just rely on three to four different topics to score marks in J advanced. Just imagine what if the most difficult questions in the question paper come from those three or four chapters that you have studied, which means you can't answer the rest of the questions because you didn't study them. And the questions from the subject you studied are extremely difficult. So we don't want that to happen. So we'll study extra chapters just in case. Now you can ask me your second question, which is how do I go about studying? for J advanced physics. See, if you're uncomfortable or if you're not able to solve questions from IE Rido, then there is a three-step process. Step one, solve level two subjective and objective of DC Pandey. I hope you have already solved level one subjective and objective in DC Pandey for your J mains itself. So you just have to level two subjective and level two objective of DC Pandey. Second step, solve the questions for the same chapter from HC Verma and especially do the last 10 questions from that particular chapter. Three, do 2020, 2019 and 2018 previous year question papers of J Advanced. If you want to do question papers that came before 2018, kindly go ahead with that. Why did I ask you to initially do DC Pandey, then HC Verma and then solve previous year question papers? Because with the DC Pandey and HC Verma, you would have built your concepts or revised your concepts thoroughly. And when you go ahead with previous year question, treat that as a test where you sit down, read the question. And if you find the answer, go to the next question. If you're not able to find the answer, try twice. And still, if you're not able to get the answer, Look at the solution and be like to this kind of question. This is how I have to approach the problem. When you move on to the next question, see whether there is any connection between the question you have done previously and this question. If there is connection, see what steps of the solution of the previous question also is applicable to this particular question. See before you start your exam in the computer screen, there will be a detailed instructions about the marking scheme of the particular examination. Read the marking scheme very thoroughly and read about the pattern very thoroughly. That will tell you whether you have single correct, multi correct, whether you have match, whether you have multi correct match the following. And it will also tell the marking scheme whether it's plus one zero, plus four zero, plus four minus one, plus four minus two. Last year, that is in 2020, the multiple correct questions had plus four and minus two. Minus two. Don't ever think of answering those questions if you have even the slightest amount of doubt. There will be enough time in the examination hall so if you know that you can reach the answer to a particular question take your time just learn how much ever you can and write the exam if you clear well and good if you do not clear also no problem 